Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you saw the thumbnail, then it probably would seem like I'd be really excited to get a machine like this for free. But the way it came to me is not actually very exciting. It was an extended family member, actually my son's uncle who had passed away and it was his machine. He used to actually host tournaments at his house and they'd do, uh, you know, they'd bet on things and see who could be the Buck Hunter winner and he would do that on an annual basis. So imagine anybody that is close to their uncle, um, like my son was, your uncle is always the cool guy, right? And that's exactly who he was. He was a cool guy, nice guy, great heart, and unfortunately he's no longer with us, but uh, later on, a year after he had passed, one of the family members, extended family members, reached out to me and said, hey, we think it'd be cool for you to have this because, um, you know, your son has such fond memories of, of uh, the way they would interact with each other. You know, everyone loves their uncle, right? And so I said, okay, are you sure? You know, I, I definitely, you know, it's number one, it's really expensive and I just wanted to make sure that that was what they wanted and it was. So, so it was, so I feel grateful to have received it and I'm hoping that I can kind of uh, get my son into it because it, it is a memory that he can have of his uncle and this was something that his uncle really liked to do. So anyway, so I don't want to bring the whole room down, but I wanted to at least uh, and I debated on how I would even explain this in the video. So we're gonna shift gears to the game itself, but I wanted you guys to know how I acquired it because to get something this expensive for free, uh, I wanted you guys to understand the backstory and that it wasn't necessarily a happy backstory. Without further ado, we're gonna switch gears and talk a little bit about Big Buck Hunter Reloaded. Let's first start with the cabinet itself. This is the Big Buck Hunter Reloaded Mini. This is a commercial grade cabinet that can be used at an arcade or an arcade setting and at a home. There is also the ability to put it online or offline. Mine's currently offline. If you want it online, you get some perks and also uh, it does cost a subscription fee. So for at home, that isn't really anything I'm interested in. You'll notice Reloaded. What does that actually mean? Well, this isn't just a Buck Hunter game. This is actually Buck Hunter and Terminator and there's a bunch of other mini games on here as well. So it isn't just one game. So if you're not like the biggest Buck Hunter fan and you love Terminator, there's a version of Terminator Salvation on here. I think it's called Delta Mission, so it's not the same exact game as the other Terminator Salvation that Raw Thrills made. It's actually a variant of it that's built for this cabinet and built for the fact that the guns have pump action. Now, speaking of the guns, the guns are really great quality. These things are pretty awesome and definitely commercial grade. You don't have certain things in it though. There isn't like a force feedback mechanism. However, the speaker system inside this machine is outstandingly good. So um, you're not gonna necessarily have a kickback from the gun, but you're definitely gonna hear when you're shooting and the volume on this thing is absolutely insane. So like most of Raw Thrills games, they put a ridiculous amount of attention to detail on the cabinet itself, the lighting and the sound. Speaking of the lighting, it has LED T-molding on it, which is really cool. So uh, you can actually buy this nowadays. I don't know if you guys know that, but you can buy LED T-molding. It's kind of expensive though, but they do put that on this machine and it does interact with the different game modes. Like for instance, if I'm playing Terminator Salvation and I'm getting hit, it will light up red and even the speaker in the center will also light up red. So that's a really cool little attention to detail thing. And if, after all, it is Raw Thrills. They make these games for big family entertainment centers and big arcades like Dave & Buster's and stuff like that. So they want all eyes on their games. And if you've ever seen a Raw Thrills game like Cruise and Blast or any of their other games they have, Dirty Driving, the, the lighting and everything about them is all to grab your attention and bring you to that machine. They did that same thing here, a very attention grabbing design. The screen itself is a 42 inch screen. It does come part of the machine and it's, it's mounted to it. And the whole machine itself is on wheels. So you can move it around really, really easily. And it's honestly not that bad for a home setting. It doesn't take up as much space as you'd think. Actually, it's a pretty slim line cabinet. It's not that deep. It's definitely not as deep as some of my full size arcade cabinets that I have that are, you know, the older ones. So I really like that. When you look at the marquee, the marquee design is really great. It's high quality printed. And again, they go with the theme of Terminator uh, and Buck Hunter. There's even like a zombie game on here. So there's a bunch of different things. And there's some really cool mini games as well that we'll check out in a little bit. There is a separate topper you can buy for this, like a Terminator head and some other things. I think that's an, actually an added item. I don't think that comes as part of it. Uh, if it did, then I didn't get it, but, um, but yeah. 
when you first start up, you got two options, Big Buck Hunter or Reloaded. If you go to Big Buck Hunter, it's gonna be the Big Buck Hunter games. You got Pro, which you gotta unlock, Casual and Versus mode. If I go back though, if you wanna play the additional games, you go to Reloaded, and in Reloaded you have Monsters Island, you have Duck Dynasty, you have Terminator Salvation, you got this one called Doe of the Dead, which is like a zombies game. And then you have bonus stuff, which is really fun. There's like this one where the guy is like drunk on moonshine. You gotta shoot his moonshine barrels. We'll start with Buck Hunter. Now, I am terrible at this game, so just expect to, uh, for me to embarrass myself here. Okay, I'm gonna select casual, one player. You can play up to four players on this cabinet. I'm gonna do, I don't know, Irish elk, I guess. These are extinct. I'm shooting extinct Irish elk. All right, let's do it. All right, don't shoot the does. I got this, don't even worry about it. Pump to reload, come on, let's do this. All right, shoot the bulls. I got this, don't shoot the cows. Sorry, don't shoot the cows, I got this. Don't shoot the moo moos. All right, R-A-L-P-H, boom. All right, let's go. You can shut off the girls, by the way. It's like the adult mode or whatever, if you don't wanna do that. All right, let's go. Okay. <laughs> All right, I got one. Okay, okay. I'm a real man. I'm kind of feeling pretty confident right now. I'm gonna go real buck hunting. Come on, let's do it. I needed Cowboy Retro Ralph for this. Yeah. All right. Come on, let's see what I can do here. Oh, shoot. All right, I got one bull. And, <laughs> and I got a cow. Don't shoot the moo moos. <laughs> All right, so anyways, you get the point on Big Buck Hunter. It's actually surprisingly a fun game, even though it's not a game I really like that much. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to the Salvation side so you guys can see that. I'm probably gonna have to do a separate video to check out all the games, because honestly, there's a lot of games built into this. Okay, we're gonna switch gears to Terminator Salvation. Now, if you've ever played the original Terminator Salvation, you'll know there isn't a pump rifle like this. Uh, but this game gives you the ability to have a minigun, and when you do choose the minigun, you can now have an automatic weapon. But it only lasts for a little while, so you kind of use this sparingly. You don't really want to just like throw your bullets everywhere, because honestly, it's a lot easier to play it with this minigun than it is the pump rifle. That'd be my only complaint. I wish you could like have a setting that you could tune that would just automatic give you the minigun the whole time, because the pump action does get a little bit annoying. Uh, after playing it like long periods of time, I'll say that. But, you know, if you've ever played Salvation, you'll love this. It's the same game, essentially. It's just like a separate mission, so the storyline is like a bit different than uh, Terminator Salvation is. But like I said, you know what I'm seeing? Like, my arm's gonna start to get really tired. And the other thing I'll say is the gun is very high quality and the, it's pretty weighted, so in general, long gaming sessions with this, you're gonna you're gonna start to actually get pretty tired. So I'm gonna let this expire and I'm gonna show you one of the mini games and then I'll just give you my final thoughts on Buck Hunter Reloaded. Okay, we're gonna check out the bonus only stuff. Now you can create a playlist of bonus games uh, up to four of them. So I'm gonna do, I kinda like, let's see, which one was it that I like? I think it was Duck Hunt's Cool. So it's like modern duck hunt, I like that one. I like the Moonshine Factory. I'm a big fan of the Moonshine Factory. I don't think I've ever done Colossal Foot. I don't think I've done that. It's like Bigfoot. We'll try that. And then we'll do we'll do Garden Gnomes. That should be fun. Actually, there's a Wild West. Damn, I don't know. There's so many I don't know. We'll do the Garden Gnomes. All right. I'm going to put up the volume real quick. And uh, yeah, you guys get to check out the bonus games which I'm telling you are pretty fun. These are fun like party games if you have a bunch of people over. All right, let's do it. All right, well, that was decent. 
72% accuracy. I'll take it. Okay, this is the moonshine guy. This is the best. I love this. It's Pappy. Pappy's moonshine. Pappy, hey Pappy, hey don't. Shit, did I kill him? Oh no, you can't shoot him. All right. Oh, you can shoot the pig. <laughs> All right, there you go, that's the Moonshine Factory. So yeah, these are really fun, man. They're just like these little mini games, uh, but they're really cool when you play with multiple people. I had a, I played with Kim and it was, it was a lot of fun. All right, whatever. Anyways, that is the bonus game, but now let's talk about my final thoughts about Big Buck Hunter Reloaded. I'm not the biggest Big Buck Hunter fan, but if I was, it would be really damn cool to have something like this in my house. Obviously the cabinet is constructed in an amazing way because this is a commercial grade device that is meant to be on uh, location somewhere. The gun accuracy is really, really good. Most of these modern Raw Thrills games, the gun accuracy is out of control good. Uh, if you've ever played, uh, I think it's Halo Firestorm Team Raven or something like that. It's the new one that Raw Thrills came out. It's a Halo game. Amazing accuracy on the gun. They do a great job. So they've really, they've really perfected light guns on you know modern displays. So no, no uh, issues with that. Uh, I'd say the fact that Terminator Salvation's on it, it makes the Reloaded series more interesting to me personally. But for the total cost of ownership for something like this, I don't think that I would go in for like eight to 10 grand on something like this. I'd probably buy a pinball machine. But the cool thing is, is this game is on location almost everywhere. It's like one of the top grossing games that Raw Thrills has on the location. So if you see one in your local arcade, give it a shot, like definitely play it. Uh, but I'd like to know in the comments below if this is something you would actually buy. It's unfortunate the circumstances by which I got it, uh, but I am grateful to have it and it is something that my son and I can do that hopefully reminds him of his uncle that uh, that's no longer with us. So, so, um, so hopefully that's something that him and I can do together and that will be a special moment for him. But uh, that's it guys. I like the game. I think the game is great. I, uh, like I said, I'm buying a pinball machine though if you're telling me I gotta fork up a grand for this. But it is very cool. Uh, but if you're the biggest hardcore Buck Hunter fan, then you would probably be super stoked to have this. And then Salvation and all the bonus games is just like icing on the cake. I will mention they do have a update for this machine, which includes The Walking Dead. And I'm very interested in that. So I'm gonna reach out to uh, my distributor here locally and just see, you know, what would it cost to upgrade this? I will say, uh, if you have one of these though, and you're a big Buck Hunter fan and you pay the subscription to do the online services, you can play this game against anyone else in the whole world. Anywhere these are on location, they're online, you can play those people. So you can go head to head with anyone. I'm sure those people are amazingly good at the game, the hardcores, but you can play them if you have the online version. But like I said, that does require a subscription. So even more money that you gotta fork down. So. Anyways guys, that's all for this video. Let me know what you think about this. Like, would you consider having one of these in your house? Like, I don't know, there's probably a lot of big Buck Hunter fans out there and maybe this would be like your grail to have one of these at home, I don't know. But let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Consider subscribing to the channel if you enjoy content like this. And that's it for now guys. We will see you on the next one.